Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a ship with me video on a Wednesday. That's right, because we had, what, 8, 19 20. sales? 20 sales yesterday on a Tuesday? What is even up with that? Well, between yesterday and today, so some what? of them were today. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've been listing and relisting like crazy. Yes. If you're wondering how we're getting these sales, we are listing minimum, I think yesterday... It ended up being like 25 items, and then I relisted 20. And I've already relisted 42 today, and listed about five so far. Putting in some work. Working it. Yes. Pretty excited about it. Hi, if you're new here, we are full-time resellers out of Dallas, Texas. How's it going, everybody? All right, we've already got all of our things picked, so we're just gonna go through, pack it up, and tell pack you- Pack it in. Thing. Pack it up, pack it in. We had two international sales. Super excited about this. We just added eBay International. No, we can't tell you how to do it because we're barely know ourselves. But we will once we're getting, once we get used to it and it works. Proof of concept. Right. Uh, we used to only do global shipping, which we still do on our heavier items. But now we're adding in eBay International. So subscribe if you want to know more about that in the future. Oh, yeah. Okay. We had two sales on Poshmark. We've been selling the old stuff on Poshmark, and I'm happy about it. Yeah, seriously. This is a David Donahue dress shirt. I'll show you the brand, but it did not sell very quickly, let me tell you. Maybe it's been for about 400 years. Four years. No, I'm not even exaggerating four years. So maybe not pick this up. It feels really nice, like a crisp poplin cotton. Yeah. So I don't, you know, I'm not really sure why I didn't sell. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't want to use these inventory bags. I'm so... You know, oh, oh, gosh, oh, oh I had a wipeout. Oh, no. I'm having a wipeout. Hold on, kids, hold on. Hold on to your horses here. This is Poshmark, so it can go into In, a Tyvek. Yep, where it's going to, it's going to stay there. Yep. It's just, but I kind of wanted to put it in something, but not. Okay, what about this? Not something that we had to pay for. Yes, I'm so cheap. <laughs> I do not want to put anything, <laughs> any money. That's huge. It is. Okay, we don't need this. Thing. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let me just, oh. just get it together. Oh, oh this oh. is a mess. We're just a mess. There's a bunch of stuff back here. Look. Look at this. Hey, oh, this. Perfect. Perfect. Just shove it. I, hey, no, I'm doing, <laughs> doing a good job. So I keep all the bags, I'm a costume designer, and I keep all the bags that my Amazon stuff comes in because these become very handy. And we're just trying to, you know, be a little more uh, eco-friendly. Even though it's plastic, but it's reused. You see, I didn't just throw it away. Makes me feel better. Oh. All right, that's the Poshmark. The Poshmark, you can use any USPS supplies. They are free. We try to capitalize. Quiet tape. But you're not allowed to use that only for tape when we're filming. We have a silent tape, so, oh, so good. we we try to only use it when we're filming, and then we use the <clears throat> we use the loud tape when we're not filming. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, I was trying to listen to a Taylor Swift song, and Dan's like, Whoa. I came in with the loud tape. And ruined oh my god, it three ruined times. it! I had to listen to it three times. <laughs> Is anybody else like that where you need the full experience of a song? If you, if you get interrupted, you have to start again. Okay, okay this is so old. Paper tag missing somewhere. Oh, you're going to have to shake it out. Shake it <laughs> Stop. out. Stop. <laughs> okay, anyway, the, this is a Jones New York suit, which we don't recommend picking up, okay? It's one bought of our it oldest. For a dollar. We bought it for a dollar, so maybe if you get it for a dollar. But I'm telling you, this is the oldest, one of the oldest suits in our collection. Yeah. That means it's, we've been reselling for four years, so it's about four years sitting in our collection. And it only sold for $25 on Posh, and I was super happy to take the offer. Like, for sure. Because the shipping, we can just shove it in a priority box. Also, just because we've had it for so long. And we only paid a dollar, so we still did profit. Just not the... <laughs> <laughs> it just took four years. It's yeah, fine. I mean, we had to hold on to it and move it from place well, to place. there's a thing missing in here. It, it ripped off. It doesn't... I don't think it has a price on it because it's from the pants. So, if at the worst case scenario, it's like measurements. Okay. It'll be just fine. Let me shove this thing in there. really want to let roll it. Don't do it. No. Oh, come on, man. Get away. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Can't yeah. put a black suit in front of me. You know what I'm going to do every time. <laughs> this is 
the two-piece so suit. I didn't show it to you. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not worth it. <laughs> Careful with the Jones New Yorks, the Joseph A. Banks, those kind of suits. They sell, you know, retail for an, a good amount of money. I'm not trying to put anyone down that wears those brands. Uh, just on the resale market, it's a hard sell. Right. Okay. Come on. Oh, no. 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 Oh, this is going to look great when it gets here. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Put a sticker on it. It'll be fine. Postmarked. Priority mail. Inventory number 400. Man. That is crazy. We are in the 5335 numbers right now. Wow. <laughs> this is like almost 5,000 numbers ago. Where did the... Label go. This is our favorite game. Second, second favorite. I'll just reprint it. Where's the label? I'll just reprint it. It's fine. Oh, it was right here. Oh, Bruh. there it is. Thanks. It was just right here. Look, there are your dry erase markers. I told no, you they were are... here. Why don't you throw them? No, you can. I'm trying to use. bring them back to life. <laughs> <laughs> trying to resurrect them. What? <laughs> Yeah. You can't resurrect them. Sure you can. Okay, these next pants, we've had for a while, actually, and I'm surprised. They're a brand called Jill Sander, which we love to sell. They're cotton blend cropped white pants, U.S. size 8 with slant pockets. Uh, They're going to New Jersey. Cool. And they sold for $40 plus $8.99 shipping. I'm surprised. Normally, this brand sells very quickly for us. But this is number, this is how we know, because we do a sequential numbering system. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they're number 2477. And like I said, we're at 5335, so we've had them a while. Here's what the tag looks like. These do have a little bit of discoloration. I hope that's not an issue. I don't know if I noted it. It was so long ago. This tag is great, though. If you can find this brand, it's got a really good following. It's made in Italy. Really high-quality piece of clothing there. It's not like terrible discoloration, it's just a little bit of a little, little tinge, you know what I mean? Like a little something, something. Because yeah. they're. Mm, mm, I'm just gonna fold them up. Mm, oh, that's, that's supposed to be right there. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, 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 my lord. No, 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 there's a big stain on it. I gotta see if I put that. Okay. How do I. I need to check. I need to check. Y'all, I'm just like gonna have a heart attack if. I will try to get that stain out, but if we have to ship them today, we gotta ship them today, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, oh, we don't have to ship these today. Okay. We can ship them tomorrow, okay. which will allow me to address that. I'm not sure if I've added it into the listing or not. I'm gonna All right, well, let me take those off the, off the thing. Okay. Yeah, there is no mention of them in the listing. Like I said, we used to be not as great as we are now. <laughs> So anytime there's an older, I didn't mean that in a braggy way. I'm just meaning like if it's an older listing, we often missed things because we were either going too fast or we didn't know what the heck we were doing. Right. Welcome to reselling. You learn Hi. as you go. How's it going, everybody? Okay, these are a pair of Eileen Fisher pants. We sell these every freaking day and we love them. Yes. These were size large, dark navy, 100% organic linen, pull-on tapered pants. Uh, we just listed these last week and they sold for $46 plus $4.99 shipping. All right, our cost of goods on these was $3.08. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to weigh these. Let go. Ten ounces. Okay. Second time we're selling this top. Yep, the Johnny Was top came back, uh, and it sold again right away. And it sold for $37 this time, plus $4.99 shipping. It just was returned for fit fine we offer returns for fit it's no no big deal especially with something like this that will immediately sell again literally within 24 hours of listing it again happy with that there you go what is going on with the scale do y'all like to hear me complain about it every day sure. This is something 
coming out of the bins, I think. I don't know. It's just really, really nice. It's Tahari. We don't normally pick up this brand at all, but it was like, you know, a really big, cozy duster with a hood. I'll just show you. It's Tahari. Uh, this <laughs> brand can re to, what do you call it? Retail for a lot. Yeah. Uh, but the resale is not normally there, but this is one of those special pieces that just is so high quality. I was like, okay, let's go ahead and get this. Um, Tahari hooded cotton knit cardigan duster sweater open front. Uh, and it is going to Brooklyn. It sold for $32 plus $8.99 shipping. All right. I think well, whoever's going to get this is going to love it. It is really high quality. I feel it's heavy and nice. Um, how we're going to ship it is a mystery. I think it's going to have to go into a padded. Okay. You're doubling it up. Well, this is just so I can like squeeze the air out and stuff. Yeah. It, it really does help. Okay, because New York for us is a little bit far for a regional box, so a padded flat rate might be or a regular. You want a padded? Um. Yeah, I don't know if I can get it into a paper one. If you want me to try, I will. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna even hear it. Try it. Oh, I'm definitely going there. I mean, wide. Okay. Nah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Padded flat rate envelope. How much over a pound is this thing anyway? I don't know. About that. No, I feel like it's heavy. Yeah. We love. We are the king and queen of regional boxes, but to New York, a regional box is not cheaper than a than an envelope. Okay, so it doesn't have to be flat, it just has to fit and you have to be able to close regularly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's Count like one pound, five. So this is technically what the post office is expecting, that the actual adhesive will close this envelope. And if you're like bridging the gap with tape, that's no, that's no go. <laughs> it's technically not valid. Okay, the next thing is a t-shirt, number 3120. Okay. There are no seasons on eBay, we say it all the time. This is Disney's Tim Burton Nightbear, Nightmare Before Christmas Tuxedo t-shirt. No, oh, I remember getting this thing. I still would pick this up, y'all. Come on now. So cool. Okay, this is a teeny tiny guy. Oh, excuse me, what the? Oh my god. It has a lot of stuff. <laughs> Always. It doesn't need a double. Right okay, so this sold for $12. Totally fine. I mean, we paid nothing for it. It's so lightweight. It is going to Delaware. I know someone that lives in Delaware. Yeah. Okay, but it doesn't matter where it's going because it's first class. Cute. Okay. Okay, and this weighs four ounces. This next one, five two, five one. Another pair of Eileen Fisher size extra large washable stretch crepe slim ankle pants, charcoal gray. Uh, and these are going to Kentucky. They sold for forty eight dollars plus four ninety nine shipping. Weeks. We list every single pair of Eileen Fisher pants at $59.95, and we do not take less than $40 for them, ever. There was no tip. Were these a return? Yeah, they may have been. We do get returns sometimes. Not often, but sometimes on Eileen Fisher pants. Because if you don't know how they fit, you might be a little surprised. What was the inventory? 5251. these way 12 ounces the next thing is going to Greece oh, and it's this film I bought at the bins we have 49 cents into it and it sold for 55.21 uh, the hot tip hot tip is to look for outdated uh, obsolete media we sell a lot of it so this is film we sell like mini DVDs we sell 
things for camcorders, that kind of stuff. This is just Kodak's Advantix high definition film. It is expired. I just said, I just noted when it expired, five of 2006. Similar to printer ink. I don't know if you're supposed to sell it, but you can. You know what I'm saying? We're not here to tell you all the rules. We're just here to tell you what we do. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bubble Perfect. wrap that. Okay, yes. so... So this sold for $55.21, eBay International, and then that person ended up paying $94 total mm -hmm. to get this film. Yeah, they paid $21 for shipping, and then they paid another $18 and something in uh, VAT tax. So I'm I'm hearing that this is cheaper than global shipping program, but whew, right. I can't imagine how. I just... Do we need extra like padding in there? Uh, some air, probably. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Right yeah, a couple of air pockets will be great. Thank you. More? No. Okay, this is going in a five, six by eight by four, four by six by eight. I guess I said that. Way. Uh, we love these boxes. Okay. And we're going to walk you through, you know, maybe, I don't know, about how we ship <laughs> this. We've never done it. We just offer it, and then someone bought something. We're like, okay, now what do we do? That's the name of the game with eBay, though. If you don't ever try anything, yeah. you'll never get better. So this only weighs, did you just see that? Wow. Seven ounces. So hopefully we can save them a little money. I'm not sure how this works. Okay, this is the Zep Pro Rainbow Needlepoint Woven Cotton Canvas Leather Belt. <laughs> Uh, I just, this is from like the 90s. I just listed this, so it sold in less than a week. And that is a very large box for this. I know, but. Let's just see if we have a. Smaller or something. Yeah, don't waste our, you have to pay for those. Yeah. That is just very large and in charge. And I'm not even sure that this like technically needs a box. And we should You're bring. You're right. Yeah. We should bring in those. Um, Here, I'll put it in a, a little padded. Yeah, but we should bring in those bubble wraps from the garage. Okay, yeah. Here. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I do think my attitude is a little bit neurotic about shipping materials, but it does save us money. It does add up, right? When you keep using your own stuff that you have to purchase. Like, we purchased those boxes from eBay, and they're not cheap. As far as like, you know what I mean? I do. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Four ounces. Share shirt. Uh oh. I was never not going to pick this up. I don't know. It was free. I guess I didn't. Somebody gave it to us. Anyway, it's just a share. Like, like a tour shirt, right? Yeah. yeah it's pretty cool. Uh, it sold for $15 plus $4.99 shipping. I'll pick that up every time. <laughs> I love stuff like this. My brain is wondering how I'm going to do with those pants. I have a little stain on them. Just soak it. Try to soak it. Cut. Six ounces. Next. Next. The, oh, I just listed this yesterday. It sold overnight and it's going to Australia. I listed this at my desk yesterday. Don't ask. I don't know. I got this in a junk bag. It's a hippo <laughs> from Russ Berry. Somebody was waiting for me to list this hippo. Somebody in Australia was waiting for you to list that And hippo. it sold for $25.46 plus shipping to Australia. I, I got nothing. I can't answer it. I don't know. The pictures weren't even great because you guys know when I take pictures over my desk with my phone, I don't use photo room or anything. It's just like get them listed mentality and I did and then it sold overnight which is great and I'm happy that it's uh, going to new home okay. 
cute. Here, let's do this little thank you. <laughs> on a trip. Sure is. Long trip. It's going to take him a little while to get there. Yeah, 49 cents into that. It's pretty good. There you go. Okay. So... The next thing is St. John's Sport. We just listed these last week, so mm -hmm. that's good. Trick flip. St. John's Sport, women's size extra large, black Santana knit wide leg pants, trousers, career. If you don't know what Santana knit feels like, go the to the St. John place where they sell it, Neiman's or whatever, and feel it. Because then you can feel it on the racks. Uh, this it's is very unique. Very distinct and unique. Distinct. That's a good, good word. Uh, these sold for $46. Plus, I believe eight ninety nine shipping. Yeah, they're very yeah eight ninety nine shipping. Heavy. So we're probably gonna put these in a padded flat rate. Yeah. They're going to New York, New York, which has been most of our sales lately. Have been going mm -hmm. to New York, New York. Thank you. Okay, this thing we cannot show you because Dan stretched up the crap out of it. <laughs> but it is a Pottery Barn robe that we got at the bins. Look at that. That thing was huge. It's very fluffy. <laughs> We're lucky because it's going to Nebraska, so I think we can get this in a regional and we will be good. It might need a regional B, but <laughs> you can kind of see the material. It's like really, really fluffy. I mean, this thing was like, like the size of a bedspread, and Dan got it in. No. <laughs> you need to be. You're gonna have to climb up. People love it when you climb. All right. It's their favorite sport. Yes. It's like they didn't even know that they were here for some extreme. Oh, because they're right there, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, it's shaking the whole thing. It's fine. It's fine, y'all. Don't try this at home. So this is a regional B box. It is determinate on how far from you it is going. It is flat rate up to 20 pounds, although some people are giving us some information about that, which I'm not. I think the B, you're right. The B is 20. Yeah. I think the A is 15. We never ever go up to that much. This thing doesn't even weigh that much. It's just big. Right. This weighs almost two pounds, which for the size of it is actually pretty impressive. And the fact that it's going to Nebraska is great for us because we're in Dallas and it's just like, Pretty close. Get in there. As far as shipping goes. Regional B. This we're going like, so Oregon or New York, we would have to figure out some other shipping method. But I, I believe this is probably the cheapest way. Don't you think? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Me. Now, this is a Star Wars something. This is a 720 Star Wars Porg Electronic Plush, The Last Jedi, Jedi Hasbro Disney Talks. That's exactly what that is, yes. Uh, this sold for $16.96 plus, I'm guessing, $9 shipping. It better have had $9 shipping on it. Yeah, that's fine. Going that. to Oregon. Oh, man, of course. That guy was nine dollars shipping. Yes. Okay, good. He does weigh under a pound, but once we package him up, I'm trying to get this. What size? Let me see what size this thing is. About nine inches. He might fit in our. If I squish his head a little bit. Okay, let me get wide. Let's try it. Let's but see. I have boxes back here that could definitely fit in. This looks a little this small. This does look a little small. Buddy. <laughs> um, no, that's not. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, it's not going to fit in there. Yeah, no, it's not. Not going to work. It's this just a little here. bit. You know, there's boxes on our porch right now, even. Yeah, our and there's are probably. Not Disappointing. There's probably a perfect one, actually. Our neighbors are being awesome and giving us the best boxes of all time. This is good. So great. No, I think I'm still just... Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. 
Yeah, this one's pretty good. Yeah, this one's good. Okay. 11 by 7 by 6. So everyone asks us all the time if it's okay to use logos like Walmart. This is a Walmart box. We don't care. Totally fine. We're all about the recycling. And we've never, knock on wood, gotten a complaint about it. Ever. Yeah, who would, who would complain about that? Though? I Girl, you, no, what no, am I doing? don't do that. Uh, here, I got some. Where's that? Hold that... on, I got some back here. Stash. Stash. Stashing. Look at this right here. Perfect. Perfect. All right, friend. It's like the double recycle. <laughs> Does he need any kind of padding? Um, what to keep him from flopping around in here? No, just gonna be like kind of breakable. Yeah. Maybe I'll give you an air pocket. Sure. Air pockets. Okay, that? that is wonderful. Do you need any more? I don't think so. I'm worried about his little bum. <laughs> bitty bitty bum bum. You need some more? One more. going to Oregon, so, yeah, a regional would not have been our best option, I don't think, although this is a pretty big box, so maybe. One seven. Packaging adds so much. Okay, panties. Uh-oh. We've gotten a lot of weird comments about these underwear, so I'm glad that they've sold. <laughs> uh, the person brought... Bought two pairs of them. Uh, I think I got them at the bins, but obviously they're brand new with tag. You cannot sell used underwear. Don't don't go there. Nobody wants that. These are granny panties. That's what I called them. I don't think I said that in the title, but everybody everybody knows. Uh, so these are Vanity Fair Perfectly Yours Ravicent Brief. These were size three XL in candle glow color. And two pairs sold for $28.82 plus shipping. Okay. You just gonna put them in there? Yeah. I'm a bit worried though. What if the bag rips? I don't know. Okay. You worry about it. It's like, what? Come on. I've seen horror stories. Yeah, but. Everything, everybody ships in this stuff. We're good. Okay. Three ounces. All right. Scotch and soda, a brand that retails for a lot, but doesn't resell for a lot. I'm sure there are pieces that do. This is just a men's buttoned on shirt. This is what the brand looks like. We love this brand personally. Yeah, that's nice. We both wear they make it cool stuff. a lot. Um, but that's what the tag looks like. It's a brand from Amsterdam. Okay. Got it. And this sold for 20 bucks, which is about on par for what we would expect in uh, $4.99 shipping. Nine ounces. Okay. Last thing. Last thing. This is a jewelry bag. And it's really cool. I got this at the thrift. Um, I actually got it for the jewelry that was inside of it. <laughs> and it just kind of opens up. It's from the brand um, bag. In, in, bag. in bag. And it has all these little pockets. It's really great for travel. And it finally sold for 15 plus, I think, $4.99 shipping. You want to put that in a little box or padded? Mm, it would have padded. I think it's only five ounces. Cool. Oh, we're almost out of pounds. Will it even fit in this? Will it even fit in this? Barely. Yikes. Can I have a blowout? Oh, these aren't the best quality mowers. I'm not going to have a blowout. Just fold it down like. 
extra protection. There you go. I'm gonna put a little extra tape on that. Okay. Six ounces. Six ounces. Sweet. All right. So we're gonna do yep. all the labels. Yep. And you guys are gonna check in with the mojo. And then we'll see. find out how much profit we made on all this awesome stuff. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's great. Bye. It's Wednesday, and it's the moment with the mojo. What are you doing, buddy? Are you asleep? No, you're not asleep. Say hi to all of your friends on the YouTubes. Oh. That's right. I gotta drop off a bunch of stuff at the post office. But I'll be back in just a few. Say bye. Good boy. Hi. Hey. Okay. So we sold $608 in revenue today. Dang. I do want to point out something. What's That's that? a little bit inflated because we sold two international things that had over $20 shipping. Okay. And that is in that number. Right. So <clears throat> the number that we want to play the closest attention is our profit. That okay. number is completely accurate. It's all the shipping is taken out, all of the cost of goods, and all of the fees, including promotions. Okay. So into our bank account today went $323.09. So wheat. That's pretty great. That surpasses our goal of 200 a day. Our goal of 200 a day <clears throat> is 100 for each of us because there are two of us working this job. Please keep that in mind when you are watching us. And if yeah. you feel discouraged, there are two of us. Right. So if your goal is $100 a day, totally great. Uh, the $200 a day allows us to get $6,000 a month of income and or money to reinvest back into the business. So that's great for us. And it's more than I made teaching high school. And I'm happy with that. <laughs> and I don't have to basically get out of my pajamas. Kay? Perfect. It's a win <laughs> yes. on all fronts. So that's what we're trying to do. I did do our month to date. Yeah, let's see how we're looking. And it is, we've sold 99 items. And we are almost into $2,500 of profit. Okay. And I did the daily. And we are at $222 or something daily. So we're on track. We are on track. Sweet. And we're hoping to, so last month we made over 7,000. So I'm hoping to make 7,000 again this month. Yeah. Uh, we do know that there is a stereotypically a summer slowdown that will happen and will begin to happen, but we are going to push through it and we, list more. Yeah, we're already preparing for that because you've been listing and relisting like a crazy person. Who are you calling crazy? No, I mean that in the best way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am 100% preparing for this. And I think there are some things that we can do in preparation and the most important thing as always is list more and be consistent. All right. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. We will see you on the live listing on the other channel, which is linked down below. It's pointing at my head. No. 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And we're there for at least two hours listing live and hanging out in the chat. Join us. Bye. Bye.